Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, it's time to do the first road trip in the Cybertruck. We'll be going from Fort Worth down to Houston, Texas, and trying to do it without stopping at all for charging. Let's see how it goes. All right, got the road trip going on. Um, starting out with the autopilot, which is really smooth. I heard a lot of good things about autopilot and the Cybertruck, and it is super smooth so far. Um, it says that we'll be able to make it to our location with 12%, so that's really good. Um, I will note that the wind noise is significantly louder, and I think it's because one of the uh, the doors is misaligned, so I did put a ticket in for that, uh, but it's not letting the air go across smoothly. It's causing a lot of noise. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. Um, we will keep you guys posted. All right, and just continuing on the trip, I mean, everything is going really, really smooth here, as you can see. Uh, we're continuing. We are uh, 23 miles in uh, and barely just touching the battery. Um, on the efficiency, you can see that uh, we're tracking ahead of time good, right? So that's what you really want, right? So you have the, the projection, and that's what they think you'll be, and you have your actuals. Anytime your actuals are below, you're doing good, right? So that delta is what you're saving. So just by driving efficiently, the weather, all those good things help improve that. Um, and it's just a continual thing. Um, here, really kind of getting a better understanding of the autopilot, which is really, really awesome. As you guys can see, right now we still have 178 miles to go. Um, but yeah, at this point, this is when I start feeling, feeling pretty confident that yes, we can make the trip without stopping because there was a little bit of question, right? Uh, some of the original Tesla app told me I needed to stop in Waco, which I didn't want to do. I wanted to make sure that we could go all the way from, you know, the DFW area, straight to Houston without stopping in Waco. And this is kind of when I started getting some confidence uh, just because of the overall efficiency of the Cybertruck. Um, so here we're getting a little bit closer to, to Waco, and typically this is where we would stop. Uh, people that are familiar in Texas, Waco is one of the, the larger uh, stops, and it's kind of right in the middle. So people that are going, you know, to Austin, to San Antonio, to Houston, a lot of us have to stop in Waco, but I can finally keep, continue not going. Um, so here, this is 19 miles. So this is basically where you get off of I-35, get on a Highway 6, and start taking Highway 6. Uh, and again, Continuing the efficiency, uh, 81 miles total from when we started. And you can see the miles to empty, right? So really, really, really good efficiency uh, that we're getting here. Super enjoyable. Uh, and really this whole entire drive, I'd say 95% was in autopilot, right? So super cool to have that. And also with the new Cybertruck, I got a, a month free and I get the option to opt in for 100 bucks a month. Not sure if I'll do that, um, but again, here you can see beating the expectations, which is awesome, right? So continuing to beat the expectations, um, it's it's efficiency, right? This thing is a efficiency beast. And then going off to the trip, as you can see, uh, now we are 113 miles into the trip. So we're on trip B. And again, 113 miles to go. Uh, and we're, you know, going off pretty efficient, right? Um, so here, again, we are now on Highway 6, and we have 85 miles to go to 290. That's the next one before getting to Houston. 144 miles down, right? So again, really, really solid speeds up and down. Now, when you go through Highway 6, you go through some smaller towns, so you do have to kind of slow down, but you pick back up. So you're going anywhere from, some of the small towns have stoplights, maybe hit a red light, uh, up to 75, right? So that it varies. But on average, I'd say you're probably averaging around 70 until you get back on the open highway, then you're, you know, back up to 75. Um, again, beating the consumption. So that is going to be the big thing for the day. 84 miles from 290 outside of Houston, being the consumption. And right now I'm halfway through the battery with only 80 miles left. So here again, I know I'm really confident. And I always had the option to opt out. So if we were going below, I could always stop in College Station in charge, but now I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna make it with with even more, right? So this is kind of the good the goodness here, um, and you can see an hour left to get there, right? 80 miles there. I, I know I'm in the great, right? Because I have way more than enough battery to make it, and then again, all the way down to Waller, Texas, which is right outside of Houston. Uh, just easier to charge there before getting into the Metroplex because once again, the Metroplex. 
dealing with a lot more people and congestion. But if I charge right outside of Houston, I have enough battery for the whole entire weekend. Um, here again, 198 miles down. So 200 miles in and still showing over 100 miles, right? So this is where I kind of can start concluding. Yeah, they say 315. I'm going to get, you know, over 300 miles, which is awesome at highway speeds. Uh, all the other Teslas that I've ever gotten never got anywhere near the projected range, always significantly less. So this is going to be the first Tesla vehicle that I have, my fourth Tesla, that I'm actually going to actually, you know, get really, really close to the rated range at highway speeds, right? Uh, so really pretty cool um, here, closing in on 24 miles uh, to exit to 290 down Highway 6. Again, closer and closer, getting there, and the ride is is, is pretty awesome. Uh, the fun part was the kids get a chance to hang out in the back seat. They're watching on the TV screen, and then one's watching their tablet. They're taking turns. They're entertained. They're not bugging us. They're just having a good time. Again, you can see that the consumption, still beating it, right? And that throughout the whole ride, I'm beating the projected consumption. Uh, so they've definitely tweaked the the software to make it more accurate they've definitely you know decided to to not be as generous i, I think with my model y i was probably getting uh, same type of drive i was getting 50 to 60 miles less than the rated range and with the model 3 uh i both model 3s that i've had i was getting you know 30 to 40 miles less depending on you know the weather right and this is best case scenario right because this is november uh it's not too cold, so I have to use heat, and it's not too hot that I have to use AC, right? So this is probably best case scenario, but even though, you know, the whole time I'm forecasting to get there with 20%, hey, even if I was using more AC, I'd probably still make it. Um, might be a little closer, might, you know, use an extra 10% in AC, uh, but yeah, this this feels really good, and the, the test is going real strong. Here you can see I've consumed 241 miles, and I'm three miles away from exiting Highway 6 onto 290. So at this point, I'm pretty much in the home stretch, and you can see consistently that green line of what I'm doing is above, right? So the whole entire ride, I've consistently gotten better. Uh, now I am, I was in chill mode the whole entire time. I was in the, the lower ride height. So I'm intentionally, you know, being efficient with the truck. I wasn't really, you know, gunning it, hammering it, nor was I, you know, riding in medium, right? If I were to ride in medium, I'd probably, you know, be catching more wind, less efficient. And if I was like, you know, excessively speeding, you know, going 80, 85, I would be burning more. But the fact that I was, you know, being smart, just cruising, letting the car drive, enjoying the ride, beautiful day, you know, it's doing really, really good. Uh, and again, we are, you know, closing in, right? So closing in on the the exit here for the Bucky's seven, seven miles away, right? So this is where... We're, we're really in the home stretch. Um, as you can see now, four miles away, the car is starting to pre precondition. So what it's doing is now if the battery was colder, it would precondition earlier. But since the battery's already warm, because I've been driving for, you know, three and a half hours at this point, uh, the battery's already warm. So it's a shorter precondition getting up to the exit, getting the battery at the optimal temperature so that whenever I charge, I can get the, you know, the highest rate of charge, which is really what you want. Um, the cool thing is, other manufacturers have learned and kind of copied this technique. Uh, but yeah, and here we are. Boom, made it there with 67 miles remaining, right? So drove over 240 miles, 67 miles left. That means that the real road range is 307 miles, which is really good because I think they advertise 315, right? So 315 versus real world 307, awesome. Can't beat that. This is exceeds a lot of expectations. For us, this is, you know, more than we need, we probably need to be stopping every two to three hours anyway with small kids. Don't really wanna go four hours without stopping. Uh, but yeah, the, you can see again, 240 right there, just trip B is what we did. So again, 307 miles, pretty awesome. Let's get charged in, plug it in and in. First time supercharging on this brand new 2024 Tesla Cybertruck. Non-foundation series, right? All wheel drive, phenomenal. Uh, ride first time charging. Now let's see what speeds are we pulling. Starting at 180, ramping it up to 212. Good, 242, 254. Yeah, I think this is kind of where we max out, right? So 
Looking forward to definitely getting this on a version four to see, hey, what speeds are we gonna get on version four? This should be up to 350. Now, I'm sure there'll be more you know, software releases in the future, but this is kind of where we topped off. And again, we had 20% battery going in here, so definitely getting some good speeds. And the goal here was just to go from 20% to 80% just to have the around town in Houston, you know, range. Then on the way out, we'll charge back up to 80%. But that's where, again, superchargers, you don't, you really don't want to go past 80% on a supercharger, right? So anything to 80%, and then it's time to leave because you're going to slow down. Uh, but again, speeds are holding strong, as you can see. Um, already went from 67 miles to 80 miles. Really, really, really quick, right? Um, and you can see Waller, and you can also see the session cost. Um, so that's also pretty cool. Uh, just kind of admiring the truck, all angles. I'll say this, even when the truck is dirty, when you're far back, it looks clean. Now, definitely when you get up, I can definitely see water spots because because yesterday we drove in the rain to pick up the kids. Um, yeah, you can definitely see the water spots. You can definitely see smudges. But in the sun on a bright, sunny day, you don't really see it until you're probably within, you know, four to five feet. So anything past five feet, you're not really seeing the smudges. Um, still debating on the wrap, what color. Don't want to do a combination color. I don't want to rush it. Um, I don't want to rush it because I want to enjoy it. And I've seen some people say, hey, I kind of miss the metallic look, right? So it's a special look with the metallic look. So I don't want to rush it. I might wait, you know, three months, six months to even get a wrap. Um, just to kind of really enjoy that industrial feel. But man, this thing's good. You can see these core wheels look phenomenal, right? Um, Yes, the AT wheels uh, that come on, you know, the Beast that come on the Foundation Series are more aggressive. But if you're going to be making road trips, this is the one to go with, right? These are the tires to go with because these are going to be really good, solid 35s. They give you good range. Now, time for Bucky's inside. And man, you know, a couple things. Great choices, but inflation has hit. So I think the regular sandwiches are like 10. There was a double meat sandwich. XL for like 12. I got a triple meat sandwich for like 15 bucks a sandwich. Uh, lots of gifts, lots of cool things, lots of, you know, just awesome stuff. If you've never been to Bucky's, go check out Bucky's because Bucky's is pretty awesome. It's, it's a whole vibe. Um, it's been expanded outside of Texas. It's all through the South now. Uh, but Bucky's is a vibe. Uh, cool thing you can see lots of different vehicles here, not just Tesla's. We have a Rivian, had a Hummer next to me, lots of Tesla's. And we even had, I saw there was a uh, Kia. EV9, right? So really cool that the vibes expanded and that you're getting a large variation. Now, the driver of the Hummer, I think she showed up without an adapter, didn't know how to use the adapter and ended up leaving. But it was cool to kind of see side by side the Hummer and the the, uh, the truck. I was actually thinking about getting the, the Hummer, but I decided, nah, it's not really what I want. I really want the truck. Happy that I got the choice. But it was kind of cool to see them side by side. Um, again, all angles, this thing is phenomenal great road tripper and it's awesome that hey i can make it from dallas to houston without stopping that was really one of the big measures of what i'm going to get right i got to be able to make it without stopping so i have the ability to do it don't mind stopping for a little charge but i want to be able to make it without uh stopping anyways guys thanks for watching i appreciate the love and support please leave a comment below if you have a question about it if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this sub to the channel thanks again you guys have a blessed day